a very special day. We are at the Angelica premiere of Vaxxed, a very controversial movie that has been in the Tribeca Film Festival and then banned from the Tribeca Film Festival, but it's premiering here today. Long line here for this movie already. A lot of people have been waiting for this, and this is the premiere where the director and producer will be speaking at. Here is Andrew Wakefield taking photos with the crowd, the main director of the film. A lot of people are here. There's also Dr. Hooker, who's also in the film. house tonight. Back Here the we go. Tonight, an outbreak somehow traced to someone who had probably caught measles abroad, visited Disneyland, and may have sneezed. Okay, so I've just watched Vaxxed, and out of a five-star rating system, I give it all five stars. Obviously, this movie has a lot of controversy surrounding it. With it being pulled from the Tribeca Film Festival, it not only has the movie industry going against it, but also the mainstream media who are bashing the movie without even watching it. This is because the movie goes directly against the pharmaceutical industrial complex. Now, the major misconception that many people have about this movie is that it's an anti-vaccination movie, and it is not. With the information information that was calmly presented in this movie. Anyone could have made a fear-mongering, depopulation-controlled, New World Order documentary, but this movie didn't do that. It calmly showed you the evidence. It calmly showed you the proof. Most importantly, it showed you the story of a whistleblower who's currently inside the CDC, who is a part of initial investigations with the MMRI vaccine. And with the initial findings that the CDC found, they found links to autism with the MMR vaccine. And because of that, the CDC covered it up. It whitewashed and totally deleted and destroyed evidence linking vaccinations to autism. The CDC whistleblower is still inside of the government waiting to be called to a hearing to actually plead his case. All the other head CDC members deleted all the documents. This whistleblower gave it to the producers of this film and other scientists. What was fascinating about this movie is these people who made the movie went to other doctors who were pro-vaccination, showed them the documents from the CDC's own findings, and they made them look over these documents. And after looking over these documents, none of the doctors were for the vaccination program that was initiated and causes autism. This is a truth. Now, of course, this movie is not solely going against vaccinations. It goes into great detail about how vaccinations should not be administered to infants who are 12 months old, showing results how with kids who are three or four years old who take the vaccination, they have a less likelihood of getting autism. And autism has been on the rise in this world. Not many people even understand that just a few decades ago, it was one in 10,000 people who were affected by autism. Right now, one in 45 kids who are born into this world will be affected by autism. And with the numbers dramatically going up, the scientific community supposedly doesn't have an explanation for this. But with those numbers drastically going up, they are predicting that by 2030, one in two kids will have autism, and it mostly affects males and African Americans. And the CDC has been covering that up. Now, the movie goes into great details about how not all vaccinations are bad, not all vaccinations cause autism, not all vaccinations should be 
denied to children, but it goes again into great details about just the inept criminal behavior by the pharmaceutical industrial complex. One of the CDC members who covered up the initial investigation, she now works for a major pharmaceutical industrial complex industry. This revolving door that has been happening is affecting all of us and the findings and the information that was provided is mind blowing. This is definitely a must watch movie. I highly, highly recommend it to, if you are in New York, to go out to see this movie, which is playing in limited theaters, and to call up local theaters in your neighborhood asking people to play this movie. If you watch it, you will have your mind blown with the information that was just calmly provided in that amazing documentary. Again, total must watch. It's not an anti-vaxxer movie, but it shows you how corrupt and inept not only the CDC and our government is, but also the pharmaceutical industrial complex, which of course has a huge influence, not only on the film industry, but also on mainstream media. Because every time you turn mainstream media on, when you turn on the commercials, what is it? The pharmaceutical industrial complex selling you more pills, selling you more illnesses, trying to get you hooked on their drugs for bigger profits. And that's a huge Ponzi scheme that this movie threatens. That's a huge mind-blowing fact that everyone needs to be aware of. And the more people that see this documentary, the more people will be prepared to make proper steps within their lives. And most importantly, the newborn lives of the new kids that are coming up in this world. One last thing for the people who are keeping this free and independent news organization sponsored and funded by you. We have a very special gift for you that we were given gifts by Andrew Wakefield. We were given the book Vaccine Epidemic and Callous disregard. The people who are donating once a month through wearechange.org forward slash donate, you have a very special email that we communicate on. The first sponsor to email me their address gets these books mailed to their house. Thank you again so much for watching and of course don't forget to subscribe. Oil is at a record low. It is actually now cheaper than the actual barrel that it comes in. Economic experts in the United States are saying that soon there may be a bailout of the U.S. oil industry as prices are going down. Tens of thousands of Americans are losing their jobs. Companies are going into bankruptcies. The global financial market is being scooped. And oil companies are just surviving off investments and loans. Now, 